so we got a call for a truck i believe that is stuck out here kind of in the anderson junction area maybe a little south of that we're gonna head out here see if we can get them out we got the lovely jamie with us today hello it's gonna be a warm one we are in the middle of a heat wave we sure are now you'll notice we're trailering the more of air we don't need to trailer it for a job this close but right when we get done with this job we are heading all the way up way north up uh, near well it's, it's yuba lake in utah it's about 190 100 almost 200 miles so we're gonna finish this job then we're gonna head up to that job let's get this unloaded So I believe this is the customer's son that we're following down here. So we're just gonna come down and see what kind of trouble they've got themselves into. Oh uh, yeah, I'd say he's a little bit high centered on this rock. What we're doing here is actually going to be controversial for some people, and it's really not. It shouldn't be. I'm going to be pulling from right here. I'm going to pick the back end of this truck up and slide it that way. And if it slips off, we'll put it back on. No reverse. Okay, stop right there. I'm going to move this rock. All right, things are looking really good. Okay, give it a little bit of gas. You're the one moving it now, not me. Okay, turn your wheels, driver. Stop right there for a second. All right. So I'm gonna. Right there. Okay, turn your wheels hard, driver. Get a little gas. You're back far enough. I see people get in real bad trouble with these when they use a, a static strap to pull off of a ball. If they use a chain, perfectly fine to winch off from. Unless, you know, everything has its limit. I can break anything. You can break an anvil in half. If you're not sure if what you're doing is going to work, um, call somebody that knows something or get some education in, in some way so that you can judge when it's okay to use a ball and when it's not okay to use a ball. My lucky day. Yeah, my dad's lucky day, actually. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get back on the road, headed to Yuba Lake to save somebody in the mud. So the customer at Yuba Lake is expecting us this evening. That's when they're gonna meet us there. So we're actually heading out a little bit early. And Jamie, why are we heading out early? Colin and Carter had mountain bike races today. And if we time it just right, we'll be able to see Colin cross the finish line maybe his last lap. So we're gonna surprise him. We're gonna show up at his race and hopefully cheer him on. All right, we're running to the finish line right now. Oh, 
Bunch of riders moving up the dirt here. He's a little bit of a showboater. Are you surprised? Colin didn't know we were coming. So we just got an update. Colin actually came in 14th place. One off 15. Not too bad. Not too shabby. All right, we're back to the job. All right, we are here at Yuba Reservoir. It says we're seven minutes away. So they're up there at the north end. It's Labor Day weekend, so everything's crazy. People are just losing their minds and just driving into stuff. I've got, just today we've got three or four jobs where people are like, yeah, I just drove into the, the lake or I drove into the river or I drove into the pond. We're not able to get to all of them because they're- They're spread out they're spread all out. over, yeah. But we'll see how this goes. Let's see if the more of air is up to the task. We'll do a quick sweep after this to see if anybody else is in trouble and then we'll head on home. We don't necessarily like to work on holidays. We just have to, right Jamie? I wanted him to take me to peach days tonight and have some pear food. Oh wow, they've been breaking straps. Yeah, they're something pretty good. I'm worried we don't have enough lead. Wait. Yeah, we don't have That's enough lead to do say. what we got to do. So we're going to use one of these ropes as a bridle. So just so you know, this thing I'm about to try, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Okay, right there. All right, this is what I was worried about. I didn't think we had enough rocks in our pockets to do this. Hopefully with that heavy dodge on there, we do. So the problem is, is the whole frame just sitting on that mud and it's just suction to it. I think we need to pull this way if this is going to happen. Go ahead and turn it off. Get repositioned to it. We didn't even, like it, there was no anything. I didn't feel any movement when I was no, in there. There was nothing. All right, we're gonna try the same thing, but we're gonna be doing an angle pull, see if we can break it a little bit. So right now, you're spinning both back wheels. Right, I can one, feel that. Only one front wheel. Okay. And what I'm trying to get you to do is steer the wheel so that it crams that one against the sidewall right. and forces that one to start okay. spinning.
had one more winch on that. I have a cruiser right up there, Matt, with a winch. With a winch? Yeah. Let's grab it. You, you want it next to you or um, about straight we'll, where we'll you are? We'll put you a little bit straight out and let's get an anchor on you too. We've lifted it off this side. It's working. Okay, I'm gonna go over there and I'll just give you hand signal. Hey T, get in there and keep your foot on the brake. <laughs> Some people would say I came underprepared, but I think I came and used my resources because I came underprepared. <laughs> Heck yeah. He earned it. He had to work. Yeah. He's here helping and it wasn't even his fault, but it's your responsibility. That's what comes with kids, right? That's right. All right. We noticed a tractor over here that looks pretty dang buried. I don't think we have what it takes to get it out, but I want to come look at it in case we get a call later. I don't know, but if we get a call, we've at least looked at it. Okay, let's go load up. We're gonna get this strapped down and just get on our way. Could to find some grub on the way home. Maybe something exciting will happen. All right, so we filmed our closing statements and we were headed home and wouldn't you know it, tractor guy calls us and says, please come help. So apparently he was out getting a drink while he thought about what he'd done and he saw on Snapchat that we were at Yuba Lake. So he called us really fast and like, hey, turn around and come help me. So that's what we're gonna do. And Jamie is thrilled about it. Super. I was ready to go home and go to bed. There's no rest for a tow guy. And today, his wife. Just like deja vu, we find ourselves in a familiar place, doing a familiar thing, familiar people. Okay, there's the tractor, and once again, there's no one around it. <laughs> the big question is, why is there a tractor out here? Yeah. I mean, really? I think this is... I think this is about where I want to yeah, be. Yeah, I think you're close enough. So we got a broken strap down there. See a lot of those in this line of work. Um, this is buried good. It is buried pretty good. How heavy do you think this tractor is? I think we need our friend. set up and if somebody else comes we'll use them. How's it going? How bad did I mess up? Is this your tractor? Yeah it's a boss's. Well yeah. Hey we were just curious why a tractor is here. Because why not? Because why not? <laughs> okay. So how did this do? Was this on the first time in? I've been able to launch boats just fine all year. And then some guy was like, hey, can you launch our jet skis too? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And I just before I got stuck, I'm like, oh, I'll just cut the track and be done. We'll see how good my backing up skills are with the trailer. I usually can do it, I just can't do it very fast. There's our buddy. He came to save us again. Okay, pull forward. This can go right there. Right, you might as well get on that tractor, get it started up.
that makes me happy. Well, we're two for two today. All right, so we got home late last night. We did get the jobs done. It was a long day, but we're back. Thanks for watching. Maybe something exciting will happen. If it does, we'll let you know. Huh?